Hi everyone, it's me Jen from I'm Just Like You and today I have a hair tutorial for you. So a lot of you actually requested a hair tutorial on how I curl my hair recently in my recent videos. Um, I've been wearing more loose curls and the reason being is look at my hair. It is so long, like this is the longest I think I've had it and it's so, so flat. So uh, I'm growing out my layers and it's just making my hair look dead so I could never like walk out with my hair looking like this this is just too flat for my taste so that's why I always curl it so I'm going to show you how I curl it and how I use the crimper to add volume into my hair so this is my hair freshly washed I literally just got out of the shower and blow dry my hair and there's no product or anything in my hair and this is how it looks so we're starting out fresh so the first step is I'm going to be using my crimper. This is going to help add volume to the roots of my hair, add texture, and that way, you know, when your hair is so clean, it gets kind of like slippery and you can't really style it and it won't hold. Well, this will give it texture and it will actually help the um, hair hold in place so that you get a little bit more volume. So first what I'm gonna do is separate my hair I'm going to just section my hair up and this is just right where my eye is. I'm not going to go any lower because I don't want too much volume down here. I want it to be lifted from up here. So the crimper looks like this and I got it on Amazon. It's really easy. I like this one because it's like a finger wave. So it adds a little bit more of it adds more body to the hair rather than the smaller crimp. I find it to not be as beneficial because my hair is coarse. So I just take a section like so, a really thin section. I just use my finger to kind of get the section. And instead of going this way where the flat side is on the bottom, I find it um, a little bit more volumizing if I use the barrel side downwards towards the roots and I just press down. And it just takes a few seconds and there is the crimp. If you have like a lot more hair you can literally go down one more if you wanted to but for me because I'm curling my hair instead of using it straight I only crimp it once because um, if you crimp it twice and when you curl your hair, the heat of the curls are just going to straighten these anyways. So I'm going to do this all around. And literally, and literally after two seconds, you got some crimp in your hair. And then you can actually add some texturizing spray. And then the next section is just the crown. So then I just take my fingers and kind of go at the roots and kind of just separate them. And look at how much bigger my hair is. Like, that's a lot of volume, right? <laughs> so the top section's a little bit tricky because I have a lot of layers. And because you have more layers, it's easier for the crimps to show. So you kind of want to um, lift your hair to the side like this and then see where you have more hair to hide. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You can just section wherever you feel like you want to add more volume. And 
And you can even do it to the your bangs if you want it. So my bangs are a little bit thicker, so I can actually get away with crimping just a little bit of it. Just to add a little bit of volume. Okay, now that I've crimped all my hair and kind of lift the roots a little bit, Look at the difference that it has made since earlier, how my hair was a lot flatter. And it just looks so much more volume. And what I love about this also is that you can actually go longer without washing your hair because of the texture. I feel like it causes the roots to be a little drier and it doesn't make it really oily. So this is the hair so far. Doesn't it look nice? Like there isn't, um, like you can't really see the crimps at all. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair. I already have my curling iron on. This is by Hot Tools, and it's in the size one and a quarter. I find this to be the perfect size for me, even when I had shorter hair, just because the curls are really loose, and that's what I love. I'm just gonna brush out my hair. I think it's really important when you curl your hair to make sure all of your hair are brushed. And then I'm going to use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press. This is a heat protectant and it also helps hold your style. And what I notice is if I was to spray this on and then separate my hair, it actually holds my hair in the style that I put it up. So it actually will kind of add little crimps into my hair, which I don't want. So that's why I spray it as I um, curl it. So I just grab a section about uh, an inch size and I curl it from the middle up to the crimp. And you don't want to go all the way up to the roots because that's where you already add the, added the crimps and you don't want to flatten it out because the curling iron does add heat and heat will actually straighten it. And then I just pull down a little more and curl it up. really loose curls and I just leave it like that. Like I don't even clip it up, do any of that fancy stuff that people do. I just try to make it as low maintenance as possible. And I do change directions once in a while, but my ultimate direction is always away from my face because I like to have that wispy um, kind of look like the 80s. And then this one, I'll just go inwards like this. But the reason why I kind of go from the middle of the hair and then to the ends is so that the ends aren't too curly. So those are the curls, and then I'm gonna curl the bottom ones. Honestly, I've actually timed myself, and the process of curling my hair takes, like with the crimping and everything, takes about 15 minutes. I feel like this video is gonna be a little longer than how I actually do it, just because I feel like I have to explain and kind of introduce you to like the different uh, products I use. So, and I talk a lot, so. So this is the first section curled already. Don't brush it out, don't even do anything about it. Just leave it to cool so that the curls can lock in. I find that the bottom section is actually just like super easy. You just wanna add some type of curls to the hair, but the top is what adds the volume and make the hair look so good. I've tried rollers and I've tried uh, wands, but I find that my favorite is the curling iron just because I have more control of how I want the curls to be. Like with the wand, I feel like all the curls are just in one area, but this one I feel like I can lift it, I can make it kind of like go 45 degree angle or, you know, it's just it just makes it look more natural in my opinion and not so uniformed.
Now the important part for this section is to make sure you're not leaving out any stray hair that are straight just because I find that this section is a little bit harder because you have the curls on the bottom you have you know you want to make sure you get all of the straight hair. And I find the top section, I like to hold my um, curling iron at a 180 degree angle rather than having it like this, just because it actually helps lift the, the curls a little bit rounder and it makes it have better volume. It's a little more bouncy. And then, of course, the longer layers, I like to have it at a 45 degree angle. I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference, but I do see the curls looking different, so that's why I do it. Don't touch it, don't really move it, and move on. All right, now we are to the last step, which is the top section. So I like to start from the back, since I feel like I can't really see after I do the front if I don't do the back, which sounds funny, but it's the truth. So I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna go And I just like to curl it completely like 180 degrees straight like this instead of at an angle. And that just helps lift it from the roots. Just like that. Just leave it, whatever it wants to do. And then I move my bangs. I feel like my bangs are the most troublesome. I just take sections as it comes, but this I try to go really into the roots. And I even like to like loosen it and then pull it towards, if you're, if the hair is this way, I like to pour, pull it towards this side to even lift it more. Okay, now we can go to the bangs. The bangs is kind of like the hardest part. So I like to separate my bangs because my bangs are really um, thick, especially since they're shorter. So I kind of separate it like this, curl the bottom section first, going this way and not holding it as long as I was. And then this section where it's kind of closer to my head, I like to kind of hold it like this. Pulling it towards that way so that it adds a little more volume to it. You see how I'm like kind of holding it towards the roots and pulling it back towards the other way? That adds more volume to the hair. Now that we've curled every single strand of hair, I'm gonna um, put the hairspray. I like to put it at the end just because I don't like it while it's cooling to kind of have hairspray. I don't know, I just feel like it's looser when I do it at the end. So I'm using the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. I like it, it adds shine and it's really light. And it's one of those hairsprays that are dry hairspray. It doesn't have any water in it. Okay. And we are basically done, and then we do my favorite part, which I just flip my head upside down and loosen everything. Like this. All 
Alright you guys, so basically this is how I curl my hair and how I style it using the crimper as well as the curling iron to get these kind of loose, more um, voluminous hair. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Of course, if you want to see any other types of tutorials, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!